this is a documentary of the UDS Medical Microbiology Lab. Here we have a centrifuge machine and um, I'll come back to the use later. We also have some media in plates with microorganisms growing on the plates. Then we have here the incubator. This one is called the Inku Digit, which is used to grow organisms at 37 degrees Celsius. It is mostly used by the postgraduate students only. We come to the the microwave in the lab, which is being used for heating media that has solidified so that you can easily pour onto plates for plate counting whatever. On the other side of the table we have the pH meter which is a, um, the Christian pH meter model 20 and um, it's actually used to take pH readings of samples that are supposed to be tested and the media that are used for plating organisms. Then we have the distilled water bottle here where we have some distilled water in it for um, other purposes. We have also here the the electronic microscope. This is the Olympus um, whatever with type CH30. It's also used to view morphological characteristics of samples in the lab. Um, these are also some machines that are used for other purposes. I think this machine is the autoclave. It's also an autoclave machine that is used to sterilize media for 15 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. Then we have here a UV esterial. I have not used this machine before but I think it's used for sterilization of some media or organisms. I hope so because of the name Esterel. And then this is where you put it on and then off. Then we have this bottle here that contains Anala 
normal pair. I don't know what is inside, but I think um, it should be an alcohol, ethanol, absolute, that's 70% ethanol. And we have here legal iodine, legal iodine here for staining, staining purposes. Then we also have the dryer over here, which is used for drying um, equipment like the pipette tips, um, the the beakers. And then I think test tubes and petri dishes, they can all be dried in this dryer. Then also we have a fridge, this is a freezer, a freezer. Um, I have not opened this before, but I guess used for some wild refrigeration. Then we have a freeze here, a fridge, and then another fridge. And this freeze are used by the undergraduate students for their work. And we look inside the fridge, you will see that we have a lot of media prepared we have some agar and broth and then some microorganisms in in freeze and um, you can save them here if you don't want to use them immediately so that later on you just take them and then use them actually the purpose of freezing is to deactivate any organism at work so that if I freeze or if I put in a refrigerator um, a broth that contains salmonella typhimerium I'm actually trying to put the typhimerium not at work or at growth so that when I need it I'll just take it from the fridge and then I would use it to work. It doesn't mean that it kills, the fridge kills the organisms, but they deactivate them. They are not active in the fridge. And basically, that is the main reason. Then we have here on my right, we have an undergraduate work, incubated, that is the incubator there were about two or three incubators here incubators here that we use for our work and um, you actually have to use them at 37 degrees Celsius but mostly some of the organisms do not actually have a favorable growth under 37 degrees Celsius. And so these incubators are not for all the organisms, but certain or selective organisms are used in growing or culturing in the incubators. Here we have some organisms growing.